All right, we're running this Ford Fusion Hybrid with an Atkinson Cycle 2 liter at about 2,000 RPMs. You can see we've got a little bit of negative torque applied to the, to the motor, one of the electric motors. As Ford calls their smaller electric motor the starter motor, and they call the larger electric motor the traction motor. In the world of Toyotas, it might be called MG1, which is actually what starts or cranks the ICE, internal combustion engine. And then MG2, they would call the, uh, what Ford calls the traction motor. Toyota might call MG2, and that's what's going to move the vehicle down the road in electric mode only. That's ultimately attached to the wheels. So in this case, we're looking at MG1 or the, tra the starter motor, and it's got a little negative turn, so we're spinning it, and we're making it into a, a generator to recharge the high-voltage battery through the AC-DC inverter. Go ahead and idle it down now, and it entered into idle stop. Now, what we want to look at when you're trying to hit the curveballs is sometimes that the hybrids will throw you. It's like, is it running or is it not running? I can't tell. Is it idling, installing, or is it just being cranked by MG1, or in the case of Ford speak, the traction or the, uh, the starter motor? Well, look at the PID that we see in the bottom of the screen right now. It says engine state off. Now, if we were to try to run the engine, it should say cranking and then running. In fact, I'll have my assistant here goose the throttle, the gas pedal, the accelerator, several times, and we see it immediately goes to running. So looking at that one pit alone tells you what's going on. Are we stalling because of idle stop, which is normal to save fuel, or are we stalling because maybe a fuel delivery problem? Those are things we have to determine on any hybrid that comes into the, via, to the, to the bay. Now, you may have the ability on some scan tools to select a inspection mode which keeps the gas engine, the ice, running all the time.